Hello everyone, today Viola is going on a date with Matteo Cassini. Let's see what happens. We're supposed to meet up at the Madness Revel. It's the bar held by Constantine in Old Town. Viola has never actually been there yet. Matthew Cassini is dressed quite fancily. Riding jacket, his legendary bowler hat. Okay, let's see what his description looks like. Okay, his clothes has been everything. Okay, let's see his description again. His gently wavy blonde hair is swept back under a red home style bowler. His beard and moustache have been trimmed perfectly. He wears a high collared jacket and periwinkle cravat with a white tie. He has perhaps gone overboard on his clothing dyes, matching everything with a soft bluish hue. He carries a cane that he obviously does not need. Trying to make an impression perhaps? I'm very well, thank you. He asked how I'm doing. Okay. I wore the neon blue and and he's wearing dark blue, dark bluish purpley sort. If I were to auto follow him, I would be walking behind him. He carried a walking stick. Then they walk. I don't think there's any way to walk together. A shot of player interaction. It's a front tree request or not, and we ask. Oh yeah, I should follow him.
You can also use arrow keys to move if you are so inclined. So I'm not sure how to make them run on that. I received a message from Constantine saying that the dinner is at the rest and not the reveal. The rest is Constantine's house. In other words, the workshop where I used to have the cooking class a few months ago. Watch your tongue, he said. Okay. Constantine's player said that uh, the dinner is at Madeline's rest and not the rest because there are two places in the game that are referred to as the rest. So it's kind of a problem there. Now, now Viola is on auto follow mode, you alternate left click on another character to follow them. It says early the evening 4.47 in game.
place lately. It's quite a long walk because we meant to walk, not run in game. This building is the last chance casino. I'm not sure who took over it now, but it hasn't collapsed. Someone inside? Hollis is. Okay, Hollis is inside. Hollis cooking it should be nice enough. I mean, the last time we all spoke to Hollis in game, Hollis had expressed interest in trying to garden or cook. Let Matteo knock. I think. Oh, uh. Hollis is dressed like a chef too. Constantine is dressed up fancily too, put on a full suit and everything.
Mm. Look. It's quite expressive, wrinkling his nose and all that, and using your eyebrows, his gesturings. I went for neon, unlike the others. What's Ikasha doing here? Oh, goodness. Is he. on the hat and the scarf and give it to Constantine. Ah. Uh. What's Ikasha doing here? Well, it is on Grandma Viola to ask ridiculous questions. Legacy points 5 rewarded for one just cafe opening a number by Biola 100300 plus word play word and player content in 50 silver payout. Thank you for supporting Requeen. all out on that decker I don't remember the shower house being put up here and the last time I, I hosted a cooking class at a madless madless place oh that, that means he went and that means the madler was influenced by my battle to install perhaps Mattel's hair is so supposed to be so curly that it sticks up. Kinda like this. Well, I guess Ikash 
musician is the musician of the night. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just I should be able to enjoy the dinner both in roleplay and mechanically too. There's a buttercream decorated vanilla raspberry cake. Okay, let's see what it is. A decadent vanilla raspberry cake frosted with hand whipped buttercream and decorated with delicate buttercream flowers. The cake is soft and velvety in texture while being not overly sweet in taste. Type on the top right are the initials M and B. <laughs> I think everyone, everyone is going all the way out to ship. Like young girl, I think it should be quite a happy relationship. Everyone pulled out the stops. Yeah. Yes, Constantine went to a whole lot of effort. A drawing. Evening scene. The painting shows the edge of the forest. The trees are tall and imposing. Scattered in the branches are a dozen brightly colored birds. Their feathers appear 3D as though they are made of real feathers glued onto the canvas. So that's what Ikashi can do play music. I highly doubt I should bring up the fact that Ika Shep was usually high as a kite. Even flow a tea tea spot. The handle has been padded 
open ladder to prevent burning the use when heating. The whole of it has been enameled in a shiny black that extends even to the lid. Painted across the kettle are delicate gold floral patterns punctuated by small holly berries and white flowers. Even the utensils are... Oh, out. Okay. Okay, where the... Red home smog. How do you get it renamed? Brownish tea. Better try. The character concept behind Viola is that she has been around the upper class but is not really upper class herself so a lot of the affectations have, have rubbed off on her. The way Constantine and Hollis, no, Hollis whispered to Matthew is Oh. 
I, I think Matteo is worried that if she has elder brothers, they would all try to dunk dunk him in the river. Like maybe that news spread to Constantine and then to him. <laughs> Viola asked back. Do you have siblings? Uh, I mean, it kind of makes sense to ask. Ika Chef is really busy playing. Constantine is whispering something to Hollis. Matteo said that he met plenty of friends along the way. While they are not quite bio siblings, they are definitely great friends on the same. Also gone out to put the nice food, pasta work food, everything. Fresh, bright and leafy salad come from mostly of edible flora and forage vegetables native to the region. The light vinaigrette dressing betrays notes of citrus and is counted pleasantly by fresh flowers. I guess, I guess in the setting is is a very cold near polar region. Think Alaska or the northern regions of Canada. I guess.
Mattel's character design inspiration is the classical Norman. I wonder my character's lips. If he's so quiet, but he definitely stuck up his pantry with all sorts of things. Maybe he did, has a bed that he rolls out in the middle of the night. home before though I write stories on the rest of well I think some of them are pretty fanciful If it wasn't for Cinderella's Institute, Viola wouldn't have left Red Home to begin with. Starting in 120 seconds. Oh, goodness.
very open, how indifferent. Alright, since the server is closing for a restart, I should I should resume it later. Uh yeah. Don't server is It's gonna be a oh, while, well, I guess. I'll, I'll try again. Let's see. Okay, I think we can. Nah. I was. I will timestamp it and then you can skip over it. Apparently the the server went down to restart because of a shield exploit. Weird. Well, the chat pretty much is cracking jokes about wanting to know what exactly is the shield exploit and they don't know what it is yet. So, I think it's gonna be a while before I can actually log in again.
I well my mic was off earlier but I, I was explaining the past as, as I played it in the game and that the whole thing was about the whole northern region was very resource rich I think Matthew is not terribly jealous because he knows most guys are not into Viola like that except him. Praise be to the flame, like, uh, praise the sun. It seems Hollis and Constantine are dating, even though Grihan tried to get them to shack up because he thought it would be funny. I also attended their meetings for town planning. Mm, those were the days before I had the time. Before I knew how to set up the VTuber and to record everything properly. Much less had the optimal setup. Why is there a mouse outside? Oh goodness. At least it's a little mouse and not a big mouse.
Hollis has been putting all the stops to really make a nice dinner. Eighty-two percent hungry. It would take me a while to have room for dessert. should leave a nice review for Holly's food. Constantly basically emoted that he is clumsy in his hands. Guess how the character did Constantine hurt his hands in game. Adding other greens to pee ham suit, yeah, and and Constantine's player said that he he hurt his hands in game. joke. It's a rosemary parmesan bread. The fragrant aromatic strike you first. The rosemary contributing subtle hints of citrus and pine. The parmesan bringing a nothing warm. The crusty on the shell yields with satisfying crunches that reveal a moist soft pillowy inside. Perfect alone or pair with a soup.
stay learning at home and practice on the fly. Holly's reputation also precedes her. She is an all-rounder when it comes to drawing things. Uh, I wonder I'm supposed to take a bite. Ouch! Poor Constantine's hands. Meet my builder. Matthew is better at building houses than furniture.
really fancy touching. Did not, they did not spare any expense to, to make these dates a thing. Very fancy. Ikashi is high as a kite and just sitting around to, to play music. This is really Didn't know Itachi could play the harp so well. I guess the Sachapi is technically a s side group to the Metlers Incorporated. Because the first time Viola met Ikashi ever, he was in Cinderella's clinic, being treated for addiction according to Cinderella. have been pretty much a permanent fixture of the parlor, his parlor is a kitchen and I guess Constantine uses it as well?
broken teacup. Oh goodness. Poor Constantine. Your fault. I'm not sure how they tactfully noticed that error. It went slightly wrong. At least Matthew is great company. Constantine took out his jacket. Far worse. Oh, um, I would make a wise crack about cooking practice, but it's not in character. Mm, one near arson. Constantine being the waiter, I, I just hope he won't drop all these things on the floor next. Oops. Exquisite chicken pot pie garnish with thyme. A perfectly prepared chicken pot pie with a charming lattice brick topping. The crust is buttery, flaky, and cooked to perfection. The contents of the pie are a traditional vegetable blend, though it is oddly absent of peas. Uh, I guess Hollis does not really like peas. Thank you. 
speak so much ever since. Feel not outdoors. Is it his brand or something Holly's made the sparkling cider? Madless merriment. Very nice simple dinner. edition Thank you. 
No wonder Constantine is so worried his hands hurt. Constantine messing up the date. Glass. Concerting is feeling very, very clumsy. is that Constantine and Matthew whispered about I don't think Constantine can do it very well when he is so clumsy right now No, I can't ask. Hollis would not answer Constantine put the put the champagne flutes properly. I'm making fun of the fact that the Ultima Online Hubs really only play one song. Musical instruments in the game usually only play one song. Anyway, you could play any song you like. I I think it would be quite noisy.
take it up. Mint 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 is it's a very light fruity taste. Evening. Uh, uh, the Constantine's hands really hurt him. Poor guy. We should thank Mrs. Duffield too for introducing us at the Winter Mall. Send her a pull card one of these days. Uh, I just hope that Constant. It seems like Hollis is scared that Constantine will jump the cake. I didn't expect a romance to bloom like this, at least for me. Besides, I didn't really want to play this character as actively seeking romance. It just happened. And I think that's why everyone likes it. It's more genuine and slow burn. Thank you. 
while we were wrap up our own work. to helping Constantine out.
Graham, well, he's a bit of a jackass, and little boys tend to be jackasses, so... Broad samples. I don't think any of them know what a bike is.
I wish I'd brought a paper and pencil tonight. Chef has gotten tired of playing the music. He's on. Biola's brothers, I think, I, I said they are about 18, 19 years old. So, so he should be able to appear in Requiem if somebody were to agree to play them. About 11 and 8 years old. Is this a surprise of the night? I previewed the cake earlier at the start of the 
dinner, but I will let Hollis explain the whole lot of it. How Hollis described the cake. Hollis said, We have a simple vanilla sponge that's been drizzled with raspberry syrup. Layered with fresh buttercream and raspberries. I wonder how long Hollis has has spent to make all these things. Very nice. All that effort. It should be sweet but not overpowering. Very vanilla cake. And has of course been garnished with buttercream flowers and our two diners initials. Matthew Big Corner himself. <laughs> I'd rather look at you in person. Well, Constantine shouldn't have been too clumsy this time if it's 15 dexterity points. that if this is what Hollis was whispering to Matthew and frightening him with jokingly
very nice cake still. Yeah. Flutter the sunlight and that you went all out to make it a pleasant evening. Now that Constantine supposedly unofficially took on the name of Mimi because of what the paper claimed it was. Madless courage? No, I... Let's see what the madless courage is supposed to be. <laughs> madless courage, a whiskey rich in colour and long in leg. The liquor is floral, nothing, just a hint of smoke. It goes down smooth and easy, leaving a warm feeling in the chest and a lower inhibition. The label is a backlit single layer to people. Side profile that may bear a likeness to Matthew and Biola. Custom brew! Custom brew just for... Just for us, Metlers Incorporated Brewery.
custom presents. Exactly, as Holly out on a date again when he's manning the show, isn't it? But maybe he could ask Holly on a date privately on his own too. This kind of setting, I wouldn't be surprised. Bottom will remind on it. Oh goodness, hopefully Constantine isn't going to break that bottle. His, his hands are not very stable lately. We were discussing Button Willow as well. An attempted wedding. is a thing now too yeah, should put the rest some confusion at least But we are not married, so just dating then. Yeah, I got it.
Okay, so yes, yes. Constantine and Hollis are dating, but Graham has not actually managed to convince them to check up to get married. Well, they're unofficially checked up, though. Constantine rushing to the back room for something. Ah, I see. I missed it earlier. It's a whiskey bottle. Much more comical than than this one. Constantine's clumsiness from injury added a touch of humor to this. Well, the courage is definitely not last resort or or whatever the beer was that was used in the fire breathing contest. I don't usually drink, so I might not know what's in this one. Too full to drink anymore. Hmm. Uh, never mind. I will roll play this. that they went all out custom custom tailored everything literally everything is custom tailored
ask the model. Ask for the model is a souvenir. What I plan to do is, if Constantine will let me have it, is to to put it up in the cafe, like a statement of the in-character relationship. Alright, so I can grab the napkin alcohol liquid bottles in this game stick around even if they are empty so so we could hang out the bottle and and keep it as a souvenir Offering. If if he doesn't take up that offer, then she will eat it. the code right anyway or or it's constantly holding all these things.
think the date is almost almost over. I was stopped once we leave the rest. Walking back, thank you. Mrs. Duffield isn't that good at knitting, she really means well, I should think. When I discover the cafe might get misplaced, it unlike custom label liquor. Or let him figure it out himself.
Yeah, so basically the date was a super success. So many custom souvenirs and that liquor bottle, like I said, will go up to the cafe. So thanks for watching.